Wins build arrogance, losses build confidence. And that is the main framework of this video today. Welcome to another episode of Uber Rides to Riches. I'm your host, Dean, the Wealth Coach. If this is your first time here, make sure to hit the subscribe button for more content like this. You ever win at something and then you feel like you're on top of the world, like you're the shit, nobody can touch you? That's your arrogance building up because of that win. <clears throat> but the moment you have a loss, you feel like your world has just tumbled and crumbled. But the great thing about a loss is you learn something. You learn where the mistake is that you made and also you can build your confidence from it because now you can come back and say, you know what, I'm not gonna let that happen again. This is how I'm gonna overcome it. I like to use riding a bike as an example because everybody, well, yeah, everybody's pretty much ridden a bike before. So the first time I rode a bike, I fell off. And then my parents noticed that, so they said, hey, let's get him training wheels. I hated training wheels, by the way. But it's something to help me build my confidence to understand like, all right, I gotta hold the bike steady in order to be able to ride it. As I got confident with the training wheels, they said, hey, let's take them off. At first I was a bit wobbly, but then I was able to ride confidently with that bike. That confidence led to me being able to do tricks with the bike, like popping a wheelie, uh, doing a catwalk. <coughs> All these things I learned because I started from the ground level. Whatever it is that you're starting, if you get lucky and have those first set of wins out of nowhere and no foundation, <coughs> you're gonna feel like nothing can stop you and like you're the shit but that moment you hit that loss you're like damn like what happened like i was on such a a roll life doesn't work that way you have to go through these losses in order to build your confidence and you need to be, be able to humble yourself when you get these wins because the moment you start letting that ego get to you and you forget where you came from, that's when everything just crumbles under your feet and you're like, damn, like I'm back at ground level. Sometimes people don't even get back to where they were because they're so stuck in where they were at. So just be humble with the wins. And don't brag about it. Don't think that like nothing can stop you anything can happen life we go through cycles one minute you're up next minute you're down so if you can keep or stay humble then you'll you'll, you'll remain at that path but also take those losses and take them don't take them to heart take it as learning lessons for yourself and it's going to strengthen your character i'm only so the reason why I brought this up is because I've been trading in Forex, the stock market, for many years. And one thing that I used to always take to heart were my losses. And instead of journaling my losses or reflecting on why I took trades or made investments, I took it to heart and said, screw this, I'm not doing this anymore, and then kept coming back to it. And it's like it just kept pulling me back in. And what I've learned over the years is reflect on why you lost or why these, these trades or investments went the way that they did. And one thing that I learned, and it's helping me build my confidence, I made a lot of these decisions based off of emotions and not logic. If the logic fails, that's fine. If you have, if you have a plan in place, even better, because you can say, all right, the plan didn't work, but I'm going to stick with it. Eventually, this plan will work for me. And that's what I'm doing. Setting up my plan, understanding why I put myself in the positions that I'm in, in order to be successful. These are things that you need to do in order to grow as an individual. 
Also, to add to that, make do with what you have. Far too often people say, I need to do this, I need to do that before I do this. Why not just start with what you have and build from there? That's how you build foundation. With creating content, for example, I hear this conversation, or not conversation, but I hear this so often from people, it just drives me nuts. Oh, I need this camera, I need this light, I need this mic, I need to be in this atmosphere. You need to stop worrying about all those things. If you want those things, it will come. What you need to do is just focus on being consistent. That will lead you to all the other things that you want. Some people see my videos, they're like, yeah, I want videos like yours. You don't want videos like mine. You need to be consistent and the videos like mine will come. And I'm talking about like my short videos. I don't think they're anything amazing. I see people's videos that are 10 times better. But if you want to get to that level, it's more than attainable. But you need to start with being consistent. Consistency is what wins the game. It's not how much money you put into something to get that high quality video or you making a bet on a sports game or a bet on a stock that it's going to go up in price and you're going to make a lot of money. Those things are come and goes. You want to have consistency. You want to have longevity. You want to start thinking, I want to be doing this for at least 10 years. I want to be doing this for the next 50, 60 years. That's how you got to start training your mindset. These little wins here, there, to me, that's like noise. That noise it just gets canceled within like months and days. Like think in terms of years. When you start looking in years, life changes for you. This is noise. This is noise in like a year's time frame. But if you look on a time horizon like this of 10 years, that little noise is really going like this. And that's progressive growth. That's what you need to focus on. Make do with what you have. And you will get the things that you want eventually in life. That's how it all starts. I froze because the car next to me. It's just me being an introvert. I see cars beside me because I just feel so awkward. But you got to get comfortable being uncomfortable. That's why I'm doing that. Ten years from now, it won't be me making these videos in the car. It will probably be me in a studio. Who knows? where it end up where I end up but I won't end up there if I'm not consistent at making these videos that's the whole purpose of me making these videos for me to become consistent at making videos that's my whole purpose providing value to you guys and if you are finding value in these videos please hit the subscribe button and join my community but with that being said, I appreciate you guys. Have yourself an amazing day and I'll see you on the next video.